should be another interesting clash this one again where you make the Chinese doubles uh, very strong favourites but against a pair who again on their day are capable of producing some very big results yes uh, there's no doubt about it having said that um, I think that Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang are taking women's doubles to a new level I think they are playing such a physical, aggressive game, more and more like men's doubles is played. And I think that Duang Anong, Arun Kason and Conchola Borovici Chaiko are more of the traditional sort of players. And therefore, I think that there'll just be too much attacking play for the Thailand pair today. And also the problem for them is they dropped a, a game yesterday Wang Anu against the German scratch pair that they were up against. I mean, that was a huge shock to see them go one game all in that match. So if, if, they, if they're a little bit stung, which they should be, then I think tonight the, the, the Thai girls might pay for it. I, I watched that match last night with utter astonishment. And I, knowing the way that Yu Lang is, I mean, she's Olympic champion, but not with Wang Xiao Li. Olympic bronze medalist in the mixed doubles as well. She will be so cross at herself that she wasn't at her best form yesterday. I think we'll see a completely different approach to t tonight's uh, match here in this semi-final. Well, uh, the teenagers showed in the way these are two veterans, especially when you compare them to the, the young age of Rachanon Ginchanon. So uh, the youngster's shown them how to perform on the big stage tonight, hasn't she? Yes, and um, it's interesting that as far as Thailand's women's team is concerned, the doubles players are all highly established, been playing on the world circuit for years and years, and yet they've got this fresh crop of youngsters in the women's singles. What I'm waiting to see is whether they're developing some doubles talent as well, because I don't know how long after the Olympics that these two Thailand players will keep going. I mean, they're not exactly old, 28 and 27, but of course, Sara Lee Tong Tong Kam, she's 32, so she's going to play the Olympics with Sukhip Prakamol in the mixed doubles, and I believe after that we'll call it a day. So it'll be interesting to see whether, in fact, in the future they keep these two Thailand ladies together or whether they split them up and put them with a youngster each to really bring on youngsters in the doubles event to add to the singles, undoubted singles talent that they've got in Thailand. Well, it's never tiresome, is it, to watch Wu Yang and Wang Xiaoli, as uh, Jill was saying, they've really taken women's doubles badminton to a new level a partnership that has developed into well one of the strongest that the women's games ever seen Jill you're a player who excelled in the doubles games in mixed doubles and women's doubles but these two have shown that they're almost unbeatable yes I mean it was extraordinary how their partnership came about they played against each other in the final of the world championships in Paris you young one on that occasion playing with Du Jing, beat Wang Xiao Li when she was playing with Ma Jin. And immediately after that tournament, both players were dissolved and they formed this new partnership, which has been simply incredible. They became world number ones within a, a few months. They've been world number ones now for over a year. And, you know, it's just extraordinary that a pair can fit together so well so quickly. Now that's a little bit concerning to me. Their win-loss record for the year, this is the Thailand pair, of mm -hmm. course. That's in the negative. And, um, you know, 25 in the world rankings at the moment, they have been as high as four. Yeah, there's only been one week of the year where they've won more than one match. That was at the Asian Badminton Championships where they got to the quarterfinals. So, as you can see... And they've only played once so far as a pair. Yeah, in they have played otherwise. But yes, yeah. in this Uber Cup campaign. And in a way, I'm slightly surprised that they've been put back together again in the normal partnership for this match against the current world 
world champions. Because why are you surprised? Because uh, why change winning formula? Okay, yes, you're playing against China, who are undoubtedly the strongest um, team on paper. And as far as career win loss ratio. Yep. And in fact, they've only been beaten once when they've finished a match prior to a final. And haven't they only been beaten once by a, a non-Chinese pair? Yes, and that was against Ha and Kim, who were, of course, the Korean pair that we witnessed earlier today. Who they could meet on Friday. Who they could meet on Friday, and that, of course, was in the semi-final of the Korean Open earlier this year. So as, as far as Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang is concerned, actually, they've had a pretty poor start to the year. That just sounds ridiculous for me to in say. In comparison. That. In comparison. But I'm not surprised at that statistic. Played three times, and the Chinese pair have won on all three occasions. And all in straight sets as well. Yeah. All last year's meetings. Eleven titles last year for the world champions. From 13 finals, 13 tournaments played. What went wrong in those other two, eh? I'm probably just about ready to uh, make the announcements. Eddie Rufianto from Indonesia. Just sending uh, Duangan on to uh, make sure her box is all tidy. The towels and the rackets in the right place. On my right, Sarah represented by Arun Gasol Duangano and for Rafiji Chaikul Kunchala. And on my left, China represented by Yu Yang and Wang Xiaoli. China to serve, Yu Yang to for Rafiji Chaikul Kunchala, level play. What was I saying about attacking power? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a statement right at the start. <laughs> well, they've set the tone, haven't they? Two, Keep with us if you can. Great vision from Wang Xiaoli. Not only the technique to play that backhand deep into the opponent's backhand side, but also to be aware that that's where the gap was. Well, they're off the mark at least. Just watching the start of this game, you do feel for the Thai pair here, really, in terms of just being able to live with them. Yeah, the sheer physicality of the Chinese pair. I know early points don't always set the pattern, but felt like you had to see a, a really positive start from Duangan on and uh, from Kunchale here to 
really try and make the other side think at the moment. They're just gaining more and more confidence early on here. Who and Wang. Yeah. being eight on the left as we look at them. Former world champion in the men's doubles twice with Lee Yongbo. I mean, they're entitled to an off day, and I suppose you can call yesterday an off day, but they very rarely have two in a row. As I think your uh, statistics of <laughs> 2011 show. Yeah, even more so last year, the fact that they won all five Premier Super Series events. It's like winning the all four majors in the golf Grand or Slam, the Grand yeah. Slam in tennis. Phenomenal achievement. Yeah, not surprisingly named the BWF Ladies Players of the Year. 7-2, three minutes played. Phenomenal. <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the record for the fastest smash of the tournament go at some point today from Wang Si Ali. 232, if I remember right, from Camilla Urtio. Just wide. Seven, seven, three, eight. Mm, only just. Oh, Not missed by some mile. Yeah, that was a little Four, clearer, that one. Eight. Nine, five. Mm, rare error on Sobisola. the serve from Young. Six, nine. Perfection, it's landed on the line. Yeah, don't get better than that, do you? Oh. Service call called struck above the waist, says our service judge. Marcel Schulmans of the Netherlands. So 11-7 the interval lead. Came out of the block so fast, didn't they, one CLE? And, uh, 
Wu uh, Yang, they were making a very early statement against these two Thai girls. Took a little while to get into the game. Yes, as far as the Thai pair are concerned, slightly concerned that of the seven points they've won, I think I can only remember one or two where they played the winner rather, Correct. rather than a mistake from their opponent. So at the moment they're sitting back and yes, they're being given one or two points. I think the world champions have the capability of tightening up their game. I know they do. And if they were to do that, then... I have a question mark in my mind, how the Thai pair are going to win any points? How are they going to build the rally and start hurting their opponents? Duanganon's got a pretty powerful smash if you can get it going, hasn't she? Yeah, and and um, her partner, Borovici Chaitakul, is very, very good at the nets. She's a fine mixed doubles player. And... Uh, you know, if, if Duang and Ong can start using that smash and smash in the right place to get Conchella forward to that net and trying to intercept, then that is the way that they're going to have to try and win the rallies. The that that formation. Yeah, at the moment they're just on the back foot. And exactly. Trying to prolong rallies. Oh, that was going mile out. So was that. Yeah, they really haven't adjusted to the drift, the sideways drift here at all. Current world champions. Another point Sorry, coming Sola. from an error from the Ten, Chinese pair. Great return of serve. Oh, that's lovely. Well, there's a winner. Well, debriefing going on for Wang Yan. Plenty positive to talk about. Landed well in bad misjudgment Sober from Sober. Wang. 12, 17. Smash. Well, I think that might well be the record. Yes, indeed. 
238. Last is one of the week so far. Looks like Jill Clark's been looking in her crystal ball again. So the Sorba, 17, 18. Just relentless, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's the belief either for Moravici and for Duanganon that they can actually deal with it. I know they have picked up 13 points, which, you know, shows they're very much in the match, but I just feel there's another level from the pair at the other end. Communication though from them gets them another point. decision oh, superb game points have arrived no surprise I think really That's clever placement of the smash, much more thoughtful. Aware that Wang Siali was waited committed to a forehand defence, therefore hit it down her backhand side. And then still another five game point opportunities for the Chinese pair. Wide though, and she left there as you say. 20. and there it is. So China really, I suppose in effect, are, are halfway there. One point on the board, and now one game on the board for Wu Young and Wang Sa Li. Yes, as Wu Young is at the net, look how close up on the court is her partner, Wang Xiaoli. 
16 minutes to take that opening game. 21 points to 16. <laughs> Overhead winners, 10 to 3. Winners from the Nets, 9 to 5. Well, it's no wonder who won the game, is it? And then we've got the fastest smash of the week. 238. Discussion needed with coach here, is there really? Is there? Well, it appeared to me from his gestures there that the Thailand coach was saying, look, when you are defending, it's no point just getting it back. Try and turn the shuttle. And he seemed to be saying to Conchela, got to go forward to the net so if she can drive the shuttle back when she's defending or block it across court and move forward to the net that will give them more opportunities easier said than done though sure especially when you're playing these two but he's right though isn't he you yeah know, that's Second game, Lovell, play. No doubt the expectation here is for Wanganu to turn the screw in this second game, but Thai pair on the attack straight at the start. Take the first point. What a mistake of judgment. Three, one. Yes, a couple of times she's misjudged it, isn't it? That was the one the coach was urging them to do. Drive defence and again turn it, that's it. Playing much better at the start of the second game. Okay, they didn't win the point there. Oh, well they have in the end, but they're looking like they can win points now, yes. rather than waiting for a, a mistake from the Chinese. Yeah. When you're playing against a pair as good as these world champions are, you can't sit back and wait for it to happen. You've got to make it happen. There's a lot more movement now around the court from them. more attacking play stick with it you've got to be patient it's game on yeah Five, one. and the more that the tie pair can get you young to the back of the court she much prefers to go forward and hunt the shuttle at the net, make her work from the back of the court, and the more likely 
that she will make an error than Wong Siar Lee. Well, hands up who saw this one coming. And so much for my theory that Wong Xiao Li doesn't make errors from the back of the court. <laughs> of course, it was in the second game yesterday where the unthinkable happened and they dropped that uh, set against the German pair. Well, it's interesting to me as well that it was the Chinese pair that asked for the timeout to tell down and take on board some liquid. You know, I did wonder at the All England final when Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang lost out to their teammates of Tian Qing and Xiao Yun Lei. I wondered about the fitness levels of Yu Yang, especially. And I had thought earlier this week, Richard, that she was looking a little trimmer looking as if she'd been working on the physical side but still there's a bit of a question mark in my own mind Judgment this time. Well, and what about the fact that they actually haven't really played that many tournaments this year? No, just two. Two, to two individual tournaments. And here we are in May. And the Olympics are around the corner. I suppose it's to maybe with that in mind and wanting to be fresh, but you can sometimes undercook it, can't you? There's Obviously, you've got to have the right mix between physical preparation and match fitness. And there's a big difference of having that match fitness where you, you just know and sense in matches when to put on the pressure. Now, it's a good rally. Uh, stung into action, 6-1 down, back to 6-4 now. Second or third rally of the match. She played a cross court backhand into the open space. Done so again. Oh, good return of serve. Mm, it's well wide. Good response. Taipei here now have got to keep believing in those tactics, haven't they? Seven, six. So easy to feel dispirited now when you've seen 6-1 lead turn to 7-6 down. Yeah, you've just got to accept that that was an exceptional smash. Forget about that. Focus on the next rally. Good serve there. That's short and that's taken.
hitting and moving forward. One smash from the back, half court area into the net. Didn't need to be in position for the third one because she'd already hit the winner, but had it have come back, she was in perfect ah! position. Now this is extraordinary. Nine straight points. Ten. Things of all time. And I tell you what, it's the type here that need the breather now. Well, when we were talking earlier about the fact that the world champions had the capability of upping their game, and they certainly have, they've upped the intensity. Started hunting the shuttle once again. And a little laid back just at the start of this second game. Well, I guess the trait of champions is the capability to respond positively in these pressure situations when you're down and the ability to fight back. It wasn't just fighting back, it was steamrolling through. Play. Well, an extremely commanding position then. Yeah, that was a good defensive shot. going over, didn't it? Another great flick serve. Sets up another winning point. And you wonder whether now <laughs> if the tie pair can win another point. Straight points. Now, once again, it's you, Young, that's Hello. initiating the break by asking for the court to be mopped. You. Lose your first point in 13, <laughs> but put the brakes on. Eight, Super shot from Duang Anong Arunkison. Fusion. Yeah, got away with it. Nine, yeah, once again, the drive defense from Varavici Chaikul putting the pressure on the Chinese pair. the commander of the partnership. Play. It's 
so clever, so good. The rotational play. Wong Xiao Li moving out, Yu Yang moving forward. So, Joe, what do you reckon? I mean, obviously now this is very much looking like 2-0. We've got the uh, second of the women's singles coming up, Pawn Tip, up against uh, Wang Xin. Any hope there for Thailand? Oh, definitely. Definitely hope, but... Pawn Tip, Borana Prasatsuk hasn't had the best of years so far. She's been another one of these Thailand players that's been playing so many tournaments that the accumulation of tiredness so I think so is perhaps worked 10, against her 16. but she's certainly got the talent to beat Wang Sin and she's won a super series title hasn't she so yeah she's shown she can do it but as you say you know in the dispiritness of uh, actually missing out on the Olympics as well but uh, it looks like Thailand's hopes of prolonging this beyond a 3-0 are going to be in her hands now because uh, as far as the hopes of Dwanganon, Arunkason and Kanchala Vorovici Chaikul are concerned it's looking like curtains despite that point there they're six behind Wu and Wang need another four points for victory Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, Creative with the defensive play. Yeah, and Duong and Ong had moved forward as well. That was good positional play as, as well to cover the return. How did it have come back? Return of serve. So much pressure from the onset of the rally. Oh, lovely. Fabulous, isn't it? When they are working at their best, they are irresistible. And an absolute delight to watch. Look at that creativity. Oh, it's going wide. Well, no surprise, really. To see match points arrive already. It's been pretty comprehensive. China are closing in on the Uber Cup final. Wang Xiaoli and Yang absolutely demolishing the uh, Thai pair here of Duanganon, Arankason and Kanchara Vorovici Chaiko. 21-16, 21-12. Well, to be fair, they did well to get 28 points in the match there, the Thais, because the reality of the situation was there was a big gulf between them on court. Getting closer to the dream final.
36 minutes on court then for the Chinese pair in there. Two world number ones, the women's singles world number one and the world's doubles world number ones for China have put themselves in a commanding position in this Uber Cup semi-final. Fifteen winners out of the 21 points for Mu and Wang. They were six-one down as well. Don't forget in that game. Just playing Coldplay here when I ruled the world. Well, they're hoping China rule the world here this week in the Thomas and Uber Cup. Well, the men have their semi final tomorrow night. And right now, going according to plan for the ladies China 2, Thailand 0. Straight games, victory.